Imagine a world where you could have a thermal camera, a video camera, and a microscope. Put it all into one, and it's one tool. Well, Kian Lee have actually made that. This is the Kian Lee X6558 microscope, and we've got the lamp, we've got this little camera down here. Very, very good optics. A very nice AI super cam on top. And of course the laser pointer. We'll look at that a little bit closer in a minute. Out of the box, it's very, very easy to set up. You've got the camera. I've got mine on a, it's not even customized. It's just not stock stand. So it rolls about, it moves backwards and forwards a lot, a lot different to how it comes out of the box. I'll show it on the original stand for the sake of this video as well. Um, but out of the box, it's very easy to set up. You don't even need any instructions. You plug a few things into the back of the camera and it's good to roll. The optics are as good as any microscope that I've used before. You've got the two diopters. They can be custom focused, adapted so that it, even if you wear glasses like me and like each of my eyes a different focal length, I think you call it. So you can adjust them a little bit on either side like that. The zoom range on this goes from like six times all the way to 58 times. Now, that's a little bit different for me because I have put a Barlow lens on it. So I think it's a 0.5x Barlow lens. So you divide whatever I've said by two and it just allows me to have a bit of extra distance between the microscope and the work area. I've got quite big hands, so I would highly recommend getting the Barlow adapter as well. The distance very easily as well, so you can just move those side to side and adjust it for your eyes really. Nathan always comes in and messes it up, so I always know when he's been on the microscope because his eyes are way too close together like a true psychopath. One of the real big standout features for me is this integrated lighting module. It's so easy to control it, so you don't have one of those ring lights what you used to use underneath the microscope anymore. You've got all the controls that you need for it. You plug in these two USB slots in the back. One of them is for the infrared camera to go into the PC, and one of them's five volts USB in. Once you've got that plugged in, you can control the USB or the UV lamp on or off. And then also you've got these little the adjusters for the light here. So you just press and hold it to go down, release and press and hold to increase the brightness and it goes very, very bright. And then you can double tap for the laser pointer, what comes out on the bottom of it so that you can just accurately sort of place what you're working on under the microscope. I mean, I don't know if you've ever used a, one of these microscopes before, but sometimes they take some getting used to. And like, if I just put that there and I wanted to put this phone underneath, I don't always know exactly where it's going to be. But if I know that I want to work on the on the battery connector like this, then I can just put it where the X is. X marks the spot. That's exactly where I'm going to look. And it just makes it very, very easy. We've talked about the camera. We've talked about the lights. We've talked about the optics. Let's now talk about the AI Gorilla Cam. Super simple to plug in. You can plug it into USB-C into the PC. You could plug it into um, a capture card, plug that straight into the PC and work it that way. The way that I have it, I've got Windows Camera app set up so you can view what's going on underneath with the Windows camera. I've also got it on a HDMI straight to the monitor. So if I'm like quickly showing one of the guys something or I, I mean, the quality is that good. I could just take a picture of the screen. Look how good that is. That's on 1080. Let me shift it over to 4K and it's crazy good how much detail you get from this camera. You can adjust the brightness very easily. Look, that's straight over to the 4K. You can adjust the focus and zoom on there. It's a very, very good camera and it does everything that you want it to. Overall, the Gorilla Supercam microscope setup is literally a complete workstation. I really like that the thermal camera is attached there. It's so quick and easy. I used to have a thermal cam that attached to the bottom of an iPhone and you used to have to hold it and plug it in at the same time and it just made things really awkward. Whereas this, because it's there, it's just so easy to use. I reckon within the first two weeks of using this, two jobs had paid for it as well. This is this is what makes the difference. Like if you use that infra infrared camera there, the thermal camera, to find a short circuit, you're charging a hundred to two hundred pounds to fix that, right? With it, it's gonna very quickly pay itself off. So I I rate it. I really do like it. As soon as Canly advertised this were coming out, I was like, oh, we need to get that, and. 
I mean, I don't do a lot of product reviews because I'm not really that much of a product review kind of guy. If there is a product that I really like though, then I will tell you about it and this I do really like. Just while I'm talking about costs, obviously you can earn your money back from this very quickly and use it to make profit. If you did want to buy one of these, they're available from our video sponsor today, which is of course Mobile Centrics UK. They're also available in the US. I know some of you guys watch me from over in the States. And the microscope itself, it comes to about 500 pounds. I don't know how much that works out in dollars. I'm not a human currency converter. And then you've got the AI Supercam on top. You can see how good the quality is on that behind, right? That comes in at about 200 quid. When you buy this, you get the thermal camera too. You also get a little UV camera. I'm not gonna review that because in all honesty, I've not used it. I keep the thermal camera on there all the time. You can put the, the infrared camera on it, if you, uh, not the infrared camera, the UV camera if you wanted it on there. But for me, it's still just as easy just to use a little handheld UV lamp because that's how I've always done it and I've never got in the habit of doing that. Plus, if there was one gripe, it'd be that it is a bit awkward to change that out. So I can't quickly pull that off and stick a UV lamp on it. The Barlow lens, that's the, the only other thing bad that I'd say about this. It doesn't come with a Barlow lens as standard, but I think it was less than a tenner to get a, a, a Barlow lens to that I could attach on there. I'll leave a link for one of them as well. Overall, I love it though. It, it, it really is. It's, I used to have an Amscope camera and I used to have the infrared camera from, I can't remember who, who, the, who the brand was. That fell apart because it was on and off of a phone all the time. This is going to be there. It's going to, just going to remain where it is. It's solid, it's good, and it's, it's never going to get really damaged. It's easily replaced the top-end Amscope camera, uh, Amscope microscope because it's, it's a very good bit, bit of kit. And I would strongly, strongly recommend this to anybody who's looking for a microscope to get started with or even a microscope to upgrade from their Amscope or a, 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 a good microscope upgrade. So I would recommend it strongly. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.